welcome to Van Dumen's Land Model Bench. I'm Dan, and today's product review is going to be for this. It's the AK Interactive Waterborne Polymer Surface Primer, specifically for tracks. The product code is AK185, and it's a 60 milliliter bottle. This is a new bottle. I did decant a little bit of this earlier on uh, today for a friend who's also going to be evaluating this, but I haven't actually tried it myself yet. Let's have a look at the back of the uh, bottle to see what else it tells us about it. Um, it mentions that this is an acrylic paint for brushes or airbrush uh, to shake very well before use and to let dry completely for one day. It also recommends using their brand of thinners if you need to thin it. Um, other than that, there's a note down here to say it's a new formula uh, that are only developed by AK Interactive in their own factory. So that's about all there is to know. So let's uh, get the compressor going and the airbrush and see how it works. Okay, so for our test subject I've got a couple of um, vinyl tracks here from an old Tamiya kit for a German half track. So these are probably the worst case scenario you're going to have as far as trying to find something that uh, you can paint and get the paint to stick to. I'm going to be using for today a uh, demonstration an Awata HP M1. Uh, this is a 0.3mm needle. Uh, it's a single action airbrush from Awata. So I did give this a good shake earlier on so we shouldn't have to spend too much time doing that. Let's put a little bit in our cup. Let's see how it sprays. Might just uh, test spray first. Okay, it's a little bit thicker, so I'm going to put the air pressure up a little bit. There we go. Put the air pressure up a little bit on my compressor, so I'm running this at about 22-23 psi. Um, so I might start on the inside of the track, and I might just zoom this in a little bit as well, so you can see that a bit closer. Okay, that's pretty good. So let's see how we go. We'll do it on this one since it's in camera. As you can see, it comes out with a nice sort of dusty, muddy colour brown. It actually looks like a great colour for actually using in, as mud as well. You can also use this as a base colour for uh, timber colours as well, if you're doing some decking or something like that. It sprays very easily, no problems at all. The airbrush is coping perfectly fine with that. Just had to pop it up to a slightly higher pressure with the 0.3 needle. So if you have got a airbrush with a larger needle you might want to choose that one. Or you might want to consider thinning the paint as well. But it's going fine. I'm quite happy with that, so let's uh, leave that one to dry for a little bit and let's try painting the other track from the other side there and see how it goes. Hopefully you can see there that the coverage is very good and uh, I'm not really having to put too much paint on at all to paint these tracks, so uh, I think a 60 milliliter bottle of this primer is going to last you quite a long time. Yep, we've still got more paint to go. just uh, not paint the whole track on this one so we can compare it. And I'll just go back over the side that's furthest from the airbrush. Just try and make sure I've covered everything. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, so there you can see the original color of the plastic and up here, as we move up here, you can see the 
track primer color which looks very nice and uh, it went on very very easily so what I'm going to do um, off camera is I'm going to go ahead and finish painting both of these tracks and then I'm going to leave them for a day to actually dry and then we're going to see if we can flex these tracks and see if the paint cracks or whether it continues to adhere well to these vinyl tracks so uh, we'll see you uh, tomorrow okay so it's the next day and we've let the uh, tracks dry thoroughly so let's have a bit of a look and see what we got I might zoom our camera in a bit so we can see the tracks closer those back in frame so there you can see it's she's looking very good um, yeah the paint's dry beautifully actually it's all leveled out very nicely so look on the back there equally as good this is very impressive actually um, let's see if we can get the camera a little bit more just so you can see let's see get the focus there so you can see those links and you can see that paint's gone into all the nooks and crevices really well and has dried fantastic so now for the big test we want to see if this paint is flexible enough that it's not going to cause uh, any cracking and things like that when we actually start to bend the tracks so remember these are the old vinyl tracks so they are very flexible so what I'm doing here is probably a bit extreme a lot more than what we would do on the actual model and it is working beautifully there's no problems there it's not peeling there are no signs of cracks so I think we have a winner so my final thoughts on the uh, AK interactive surface primer for tracks it sprays really well I uh, probably would prefer a larger needle so I was using a 0.3 but I suspect a 0.4 would, or a 0.5 would have been better um, I may, if I was to do it again, probably look at maybe thinning the primer down just a little bit to work better with the 0.3 but uh, in the end I was able to get it to spray fine just by upping the pressure on the airbrush the colour is fantastic, it's a great base colour for the track so you could really work with that and get some nice weathering happening and, and what have you um, it levels very nicely, the finish is fantastic, it's really smooth, there is absolutely no problems at all with that. Let me see if I can get a better picture there, there we go. You can see it's very smooth on the back there, no problem at all. So I would say, without a doubt, that that's the winner. That's the uh, AK Interactive Surface Primer for tracks. Go out and get yourself some. So that's it and uh, we'll catch you in the next review.